I'm Jake. Uh, this is Rishi and Roberto. Hi, I'm Rob. Robert. Robert. <laughs> Roberto. Okay. okay. Uh, we made a uh, speaker recognition block. Um, so we'll start with, I guess, the hardware. Uh, yeah. yeah, so what, essentially what we do is speak on the microphone, uh, collects the signal at what we said, 9,000 samples per second? So this guy's going to get it. Yeah, then it go, passes through an op amp to like square out the input signal, or to like, not square it out, but like to amplify the input signal, it goes through a low pass filter at around 3k hertz. Um, <laughs> And then after that, then we do we just feeds that signal into the microphone, so we can so, all our house. So after that, all it's all it's all software, right? It's all uh, yeah, 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 beating it to death with transform techniques. Yes. yes. We also have uh, a comparator to tell when his sound input's coming in. So you can, but you can tell by the by the red light over there when you've got when you've got input. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it just takes into use some of the hardware uh, hardware comparator in here, and we have like a, a trim pot to check the change of threshold. Yeah. So right now. So some of the earlier problems that we were having were that this was just way too sensitive. Oh, and, and the background yeah. noise was just killing you. Yeah. Yeah. So so this says ignore everything unless you're above some threshold. Yeah. Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. It also helps us when we're trying to, to get the samples because we wait until uh, we can push the button. And then it waits until it picks up audio to start sampling so we don't just get right. useless information. Because a lot of times if, if you're just trying with someone new, they'll just like push the button to talk and then wait like a few seconds which is a really big deal for right that's a that's a big deal right so okay so so the way you do it is you the the coordination here is you press the button and you start talking mm -hmm. okay so right now um three of three of my samples me saying unlock repeatedly are in that's what these three lit leds represent there's three okay. three present samples all right um and it's on testing mode so right now if you spoke into it it would try to match see okay it sound like me saying unlock okay so, so so will it show me something on the lcd yeah okay try something try super hopefully super yeah unlock 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 Right, so that says it's a match for Although all three samples. Uh, the threshold is at 7,500 right now, which so one thing seems to work pretty good based on the, the data we've taken. Okay, so you you have the <laughs> thresholds. These are these are distance thresholds in some sort of multi-dimensional space. Right. Yes. How, how, what? So you're you're using like a 12 eight-dimensional. Uh, eight uh, these are eight-dimensional in the discrete cosine transform coefficients. Yep. Right. Yeah. Okay, so so you have a, and and then you, you did some clustering based upon speaker characteristics, and it's identifying you. It's identifying you. Right. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And yeah, this, this uh, I don't know if you got that on video, but this red LED will turn on when you can finish speaking because at some points you're having trouble where there are too many zeros in the input sample and it just start like having all sorts of problems. So because you, you start getting you get start getting uh, truncation errors. Yeah, and like then if you have a bunch of zeros, everything's far away, it starts overflowing way. And, and so you're referring to partly that it, this is all fixed point arithmetic for speed, right. and so you have a very limited dynamic range. Right, yeah. if, you, if, you, if you have too many zeros or too many high volumes, you're just done. Yeah, so so uh, that's a limitation of an 8-bit microcontroller, right? You just can't do that. Okay. Right, yeah. That was the biggest challenge. So, it's, so the, the system is, is, is working. How much confidence do you have in the specificity at this point? Um, not, not a lot of confidence. It's a, it's a, it's a really difficult problem. And, uh, it is. It yeah, is. A, yeah. it's, there's a lot of like different cases where you can like, kind of break it. For instance, if you just try to like sing one single frequency into it, a lot of times it matches a lot better than like trying to say like, the whole like, phrase because it's just matching with like one of the one of the frequencies in your voice really well. So it's matching in one dimension then out of the eight, but that's not quite right because the the uh, the the DCT is taking the there's a single spectral line in the Fourier transform then if you sing one pitch yeah. more or less, but then you when you when you do the discrete cosine transform that becomes an impulse input to the DCT and scatters energy over the whole. Okay. So that's that's a that's a yeah that's hard to figure. Yeah, it is hard to figure. <laughs> it's hard to figure. Yeah. Um, 
but but you have some impl- some some intimations that that, that you, you have specificity with speaker or at least you have it, it, it identifies you more often than it uh, than it identifies somebody else yeah, who's talking up some data on here like uh, oh there's a confusion matrix kind of thing yeah so we like just document like 10 cases for all of us and you can see like for Jake it does match like pretty well and for me it ma- it doesn't match like at all and so then it kind of depends on the speaker so for me it was there was some it was like if you half and half um, so you so in this case you trained up a few you you said something a few times right. and then you then you asked for a test did it match it or not yeah, yeah. i see and 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 for Jake it worked and and for Ishi, it just didn't hack it yeah, which is good. That's what we wanted. Yeah, out of ten tries for yeah, these are these are all based on my. my oh, oh, oh! So this is good data. Yeah. This yes, is good oh, data. oh! I'm sorry. I thought this was each of you trained <laughs> yeah. against yourself. No, no. So this is oh, all of us training okay, against so, Jake. Okay, so so this is Jake, uh, and it, and then you're trained against the same data set, and it, yeah. and it only. And you try as hard as you could. It barely you got less than fifty percent, and then for okay, so, for so that's good. Yeah, 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 we were pretty happy about that. And for, oh. for one thing about this too is that it kind of varies. It depends on the threshold that we're setting on whether or not it's going to lock or unlock. So if we were to lower the threshold to about six thousand, um, for Jake it remains consistent. At unlocking for myself, it locks me entirely out, and for Rishi, it locks me entirely out except for one case. Okay, so you have you have you can demonstrate specificity. Probably not quite good enough yet to put on your front door. Right. No. no. But 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 it's clearly working, which is very impressive on an 8-bit microcontroller. What I would what I would do is you know it's a lot of arithmetic. Right. Oh, we can also show you a there's a there's a switch here to set it to testing and training mode, so you can. Input samples as it's running. So right now it's in testing mode, and then you switch it to training mode, and you can do another uh, test. Like okay, a, but put it back in test mode, and and then Rishi, you go there and do your best to unlock it. Unlock, 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 unlock. Oh, wow. oh, so that was still matched, yeah. yeah. It matched? Slightly higher than mine was, but... Yeah. Okay, so so that was the one time in ten, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we still, uh, hopefully that data, I don't know. Okay, but try, train it now. Okay. I, I interrupted you in the middle of that. Um, 16 milliseconds. So you could you said it's about what? redo if somebody else wants to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mine, uh, <laughs> so yeah. Unlock, 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 unlock. So now so like, we have one sample in, so now... It clears my other okay. samples are only matching right. against the one in there. So now you can, so train he can, he can continue to add more samples. Gotcha. Until it's to reach three, so. Unlock, 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 unlock. Okay, now it's now the second LED lit up. Mm-hmm. And then the third one. Unlock, 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 unlock. And so this is the final one. Okay. And so, so then if I compare it... I'm going to figure out how to make back to like testing like mode, and I'll try to compare it. Yeah. Unlock, 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 unlock. These were a little, these were a little off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we can try. Let's just. Yeah. Try one. Try one more time. Unlock, 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 unlock. Oh yeah. Yeah. So this time it was a very good match. Especially that last. So definitely, definitely got some variance in there, but. Uh huh. Maybe maybe some cadence or pitch or something. It's a little hard to say. Yeah. Okay. Thanks.